Hey Morning Manna, I'm Mike and I'm glad to be joining you for this week of devotionals. For the next six days, we're going to be looking at chapters 14 through 17 from the Gospel of John. This section is one of my favorites out of all four Gospels. It's the night before Jesus takes on the cross and before he goes, he has one last talk with his disciples. Scholars call it the Farewell Discourse. It's jam-packed and full of great insights, but we're going to be honing in on just a few key things. Keep in mind, Jesus called his disciples to be a part of his mission, and that mission continues today. A lot of what Jesus says in these sections were to equip them on how to advance the kingdom of God, and he wanted to prepare them for what's ahead. And it's at that vantage point where we're going to be looking at some of the things Jesus said so that we also may be equipped. Starting out in John 14, 12 through 14, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these he will do, because I'm going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. Yes, you heard that right. Jesus just declared some incredible promises in only a few breaths. First, he says his disciples will do the kinds of works Jesus did. But not only that, he intends for us to do even greater works. That seems like a tall order, I know. But look at this. Jesus pairs his intent with the unstoppable tool of prayer. For all the works God has lined up and assigned you to do, he has also empowered you to achieve it by receiving from him. If you dig into the Bible and view it as the instructional manual on prayer, you'll discover all kinds of aspects on how to have answered prayers. One thing I'll point out is that our prayers need to be submitted to the will of God. In 1 John 5.14, it assures us that whatever we ask, we can consider as ours as long as it's according to His will. What is it that God wants to happen? If you can tap into that, then you can be confident that you'll receive whatever you approach Him with. Take some time to look through your Bible or Google some scriptures that says what the will of God is. There are plenty of places that make it very clear. Jesus wants to answer your prayers because he has some really exciting things for you to do. So as you go your way today, seek the will of God in your prayer. And I'll see you tomorrow.